Hey, this is going to be my attempt at explaining crit line monitors in a simple way. Uh, I think the ver first thing that you need to understand is that the crit line is monitoring the patient's hematocrit. And the hematocrit is the percent of red blood cells in your bloodstream compared to total blood volume. So if you have an hematocrit of 30 to start, you're, the machine's gonna look at that starting hematocrit and constantly measure it. So what happens during dialysis is you have blood entering the dialyzer and this blood is more diluted. It has more fluid in it. It goes through the dialyzer and then the machine is removing the fluid. So the blood that is coming out of the dialyzer is more concentrated. So you're going to have more diluted blood. So if it's more diluted, you're going to have a lower hematocrit. And when the blood comes out of the dialyzer, you're going to have a higher hematocrit because, because through dialysis, you're changing the percent of red blood cells compared to total blood volume. So if you're removing blood volume, but you're not removing hematocrit, you're going to start increasing their hematocrit levels. So if we do another visual, at the start of dialysis, the patient is going to have a lower hematocrit, more diluted blood, and at the, is this upside down? No. And then at the end of dialysis, you're going to have a higher hematocrit with less diluted blood. All right. So, have another visual here. So what's happening to the patient is the patient has edema, they're full of fluid. We have their blood going through the dialyzer and we're removing fluid during dialysis. So the process where we're removing fluid from the blood, so if we're removing fluid from the blood, they're losing vascular space. And if they continue to lose vascular space, their blood pressure is going to drop. So it's the body's natural response to start doing something called plasma refill or the plasma refill rate. So as we're removing fluid from the bloodstream in order to maintain blood pressure, the body's edema, their third spacing, their extra fluid is going to move from their outside of the bloodstream into the bloodstream and then we're going to take it again. So here again, we have the crit line measuring the percent of blood volume. What's going to happen is, uh, <clears throat> what's the percent of blood volume? So what happens with the crit line is you're going to see a slope, a downward slope. Uh, so then when we talk about profile change, this is kind of what the crit line monitor looks like. We have the screen and this is the crit line monitor constantly monitoring the hematocrit. So as we remove fluid, if the plasma refill rate, if the body is refilling their vascular space, if their edema is moving to the bloodstream at the same rate that we're removing fluid, we're going to get a kind of a line like this. So they're able to maintain their vascular space. So their risk for blood pressure drop here is very low and they could actually have more fluid taken off. So this is, again, this is monitoring their hematocrit and the change in hematocrit. These lines are every hour. This is what we call a profile A. So profile A means that they're tolerating dialysis well and they could probably have more fluid removed. And then the next profile I want to talk about is profile B. This one's going to look a little bit more like this. We have the lines that are marking every hour. In a perfect patient scenario, their blood volume change or their hematocrit change is going to drop by 5% every hour. So every hour, and that being said, I know patients are on the machine for longer than three hours. My experience, once we get past this 15% blood volume change, people are going to start to have symptoms. So what's happening here is the hematocrit is constantly the crit line is constantly moder monitoring the hematocrit and it is monitoring for the change in hematocrit. So as the hematocrit, as the blood gets less diluted and the hematocrit goes up, 
this is the blood volume change. So every hour drops by 5%. So this is the profile B. This is telling us that we're removing fluid. They are at this point, if they started with a high blood pressure, their blood pressure should be going down. So their plasma refill rate is sufficient. It is adequate. They should be able to tolerate dialysis with a rate like this. Uh, without having symptoms of cramping or hypotension. But you know, this is a perfect, in a perfect world and a perfect scenario. Okay, crit line profile B, a drop in blood volume or a rise in hematocrit by 5% an hour. Where we really wanna watch for, let me write this down, this is gonna be profile C. And when we say profile C, that is when the patient is going to, if we don't make an intervention, the patient is going to start having intradialytic symptoms. They could pass out, they could have cramping, uh, they could have nausea and vomiting and things like this. So here, maybe the patient starts out okay, and then we, we okay, and then as we're removing fluid, their plasma refill rate is not keeping up with the amount of fluid that we're taking. So in another visual, as we're removing fluid, the edema should be refilling the bloodstream. But if we're removing fluid and the patient doesn't have any edema or any fluid to give us, or we're removing it too fast, their blood pressure is going to drop. So it's pretty much, it's like we're removing fluid from them, but they're not refilling at all. They just, if they, they just don't have it or they're not refilling fast enough. That is, the crit lines are complicated. That's the simplest way that I can explain it. I'll, I'll try to think of some other ways. I think there's a couple websites with some other visuals that I'll include in a link. I hope that this helps you. I do love talking about crit lines. I could go on and on and on about it, but we're at the about the four minute mark, so I think we're good. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.